Hey everyone, my name is Jake Decker, and now that the E3 dust has settled, we're going to take some time to show you some smaller games you might have missed. Every day at 8am for the rest of the week, we will be spotlighting a new indie game. We will be looking at couch co-op games like Riverbond, all the way to Road Redemption, a spiritual successor to Road Rash. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at Jacob Deck, and I hope you all enjoy. It is E3 2017, and I am here with David from Bishop Games. He brought us Lightfall to take a look at. Before we get started, what... What is Lightfall? What's the premise? Um, so Lightfall is a platformer in which you have your own platform, actually. So it gives the player a lot more control on how he wants to go about with inside the level. Cool. Um, well, let's, let's get in and take a look at this game. All right. I really like the art style. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, So actually, we decided to go with uh, a silhouette style because... Um, the, in this world, which is Numbra, uh, there's never uh, daylight, so it's always in permanent darkness. It's uh, it seems pretty fast too. It's a pretty fast platform. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a story going on. So uh, right now, there's a meteor that just uh, that just okay. broke. Yeah. It reminds me. It kind of seems like Super Meat Boy in a sense of how like quick it is and how you're clinging on different ledges. Yeah, yeah, so right now uh, we are just making sure that the player knows how to run, how to jump, and do the wall jumps as well. But just around the corner, I'm about to unlock the main mechanic of the game, uh, which is the shadow car that is just right here. So this block that you are unlocking right now, it allows you... That, that's a platform I talked about a bit earlier, so we'll see how it works. Whoa. All right, so now we are in another dimension. Uh, but that's another part of the story. Um, so right now, wh when I jump, uh, if I'm mid-air, I can press the jump button again. And now it spawns beneath oh, me. Okay. And uh, if I go horizontal, it will follow me. Right. So it, it, it's really safe, actually. So you can save yourself from a certain death. Okay. But the downside is that I have only four charges. So right now... And then you have to touch ground. Yeah, exactly. It looks like you, you're you good about it. <laughs> um, so, so then... Can you upgrade your uh, platform, or is it always four charges and that's it? It's always four charges, so it's really about the player to get better okay. with it. Yeah, uh, as the game progress, I kind of like that. It's more about skill rather than yeah, exactly. So at first the challenges uh, you will find them hard, uh, but if you try the first few levels again a bit later, you will feel it, find it really easy actually. Um, you can also spawn it on the sides because uh, to do wall jumps because right here I have like limited height, but if I spawn it on the sides, I can go much higher. Um, so, here I am. So, there are multiple dimensions that you'll be going to, or is it just kind of like this one and then that other one? Yeah, so... Um, if you can even talk about that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, so, when you go in inside this dimensions, uh, it's because uh, you are going into the God's Realm, uh, which is... Um, a bit, uh, it's, it's limited basically, so not everybody can go there and you can go there, yeah. Um, but for most of the game, uh, you will spend it inside Numbra. Um, so all right, here we are, to the, the Grotto. Uh, is, there, is this mostly platforming or are there enemies that you'll run into? All right, so the first few levels, we are uh, just having a small challenges so on purpose the first level has no enemies okay just so that the player can get a grasp on the block mechanic right um but on the, the other levels we have enemies throughout the entire game and then do you is there a way to deal damage to them or is it more just try to avoid them yeah you can deal damage to them uh which uh i will be showing off uh as soon as we we get an enemy um cool as you can see right now we also have uh, cutscenes which happen in between each level of the game um so the game is actually fairly intensive in, on story-wise. Uh, it's uh, the game is about the story, uh, which is about uh, lust, friendship, and sacrifice. So without getting too much into the details, uh, we on purpose try to to get uh, to get you through different feelings. So sadness, happiness, uh, even you, you get mad at some point as well. Okay. How long is the? How long do you anticipate the game to be? Uh, for the average player, we are talking about four hours of gameplay, okay. um, which is on purpose short, actually, uh, because as gamers, we 
we, we don't have that much time anymore, to be honest. And it's been a long time since I finished any game. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, I mean, maybe it's just because it's going so fast, but it almost looks like <laughs> it's good for speedrunning, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, we actually have a speedrun mode that is uh, embedded inside a game. Uh, and in that mode, you will have a leaderboard and you'll be able to challenge the ghost of the best player of the world, for example. That's or really with cool. your friends. Yeah. So here, um, I'm unlocking a new feature of the block, uh, which allows me to move it around. And here, I can place it here and I block that laser. So now oh, okay. I can go through. Right. Um, but if you feel like it, actually, uh, since you have this block that allows you to go pretty much anywhere, uh, you can go and explore a bit more. Um, and if I go here, I will find a, a hidden uh, dungeon. So these are meant to be challenging. So you have okay. to. Yeah. So the dungeons they hide uh, collectibles, and just just collecting the collectibles isn't good enough, right? Uh, so now it follows me, and if I really want to collect it, I have to bring it to the nearest checkpoint with me. Oh, okay. Like so. Um, so if you die on your way, you just you lose a collectible. And you have and to you go have to back. Beat. Exactly, exactly. Is there is there a benefit uh, to collecting them, or is it just mostly to collect them, just to add a little extra challenge? Yeah. There? So um, those uh, collectibles, when you co when you get uh, them, uh, it gives you a page uh, from the from Paddlewood. So Paddlewood is the first explorer. Uh, and oh, okay. He, and he wrote a journal, so it's a page of that journal. Nice. That so it's you just can, a bit of lore. Exactly. So it's lore. Um, and it allows you to learn more about the world uh, of Numbra and how it was uh, centuries ago when, when you just discovered it. Is, it. is it tough to make a platforming game where you can spawn a platform wherever you want? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of both, actually. So sometimes it's more challenging because we don't want the player to be overly powerful, right? It has yeah. to be a challenge. Uh, but at the same time, it gives us more freedom on what we want to do. Uh, in most platformers, because there's this really strict length and height that the player can reach, the metrics are really important. And over time, players realize that the the challenges, they are all at the same distance from each other, right? And, yeah, and you, you recognize the patterns really quickly. Um, so like here, if you want to, you can uh, place the block here, right? But if you, as you get more experience, you figure that you can do it like that instead. Whoa, whoa, that so was you, cool. So as the block <laughs> fo follows you horizontally, right, until you land on it, you can do it like that. Okay. So it's much faster. Um, and we do it on purpose, actually, uh, so that the speedrunners can find them, those, find those small tricks. And actually, I did the one I'm about to show off, it, I we didn't do it on purpose. Some, somebody found it. So I can spawn the block like that as well. That's pretty right? cool. <laughs> Which is the, so it's, it's for the side jumps. But if I do, if I spawn it and just fall down, It'll it follows me. You. Yeah, it both protects me. And we actually happen to use it a bit more into the game. So at some point, you just have to use it like that. So, I mean, it seems pretty apparent now, but like because you're able to spawn your own platform, it there, there's a little bit more experimentation yeah, to yeah. it, I feel like, rather than like what you were saying. It's not just here's the critical path to get through instead. There's Yeah, so of course we have this a bit more obvious path that the, every player can use, uh, but on purpose we create... Uh, alternative paths on every single level that are faster but more challenging. So if you are uh, a speedrunner, you want to find those. Yeah. Um, so here, uh, it's uh, another feature of the block. So if you press uh, the X button on the Xbox uh, controller, you get to attack with the block like that. Okay. So that's how you break walls and you will be attacking enemies like that as well. So here, uh, I have another kind of collectible. So those are uh, hidden um, frozen characters uh, that I get to free like that so I have to find them All right so this one was a bit obvious to find um, but most will be hidden uh, inside the levels uh, what is that I guess that thing too that in the background what is the elephant looking yeah, so uh, this guy, the, so the, the second level is all about learning about the gods that exist into this realm. Um, so this guy is Orlog and is the, the god of time. Uh, he's known to be silly and he doesn't really has uh, all of his mind anymore, but uh, he's one of the characters uh, that will be an ally uh, throughout the, the game. 
right? Then so, how about that guy looks pretty cool. That guy looks scary. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy is uh, Shen, so he's the wrath of the elements. Uh, so he's more of the fighter in, of the gods. Uh, the other ones, they have uh, different powers, so uh, it's not all about fighting, right? That's not yeah. just how you get, you become a god in, in that universe. Uh, but this guy is, he is the dangerous one. Okay. Um, obviously, I don't want to go into spoilers, but <laughs> is there boss fights in this game? Yes, there is. So uh, hmm, I wonder who, who we might be fighting down the line. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh, so actually, uh, in the next level, we will get a small tease uh, of the boss fight. That's okay. when the demo just ends. So right before the, the first boss fight. So this one is uh, Luxana. Uh, it's uh, one of the main gods. Uh, so she's the, the goddess of light. Uh, and since the the people moved into Numbra, which is in permanent darkness, uh, she doesn't get much attention anymore because there's no sunlight, right? So the goddess of light uh, is a bit left left out, right? Um, so then, next question. The, that owl shows up, is he just kind of, I think it's an owl, is he just like showing that, it, like, that you're at a checkpoint or is mm -hmm. there more to his story? So actually the narrator that you can hear uh, in the game uh, it's the owl that oh, we okay. see. Um, so, in the first level, he just like looks from far away, doesn't want to get involved because he's quite grumpy, to be honest. Um, and he's old; he's, he's done his share, and he doesn't want to get involved with uh, a troublesome guy, just just like the character of the game. Um, but eventually, he gets gets involved, and he's not that happy about it, to be honest. He, he does it because it's the good thing to do because there's those shiny crystals that uh, that spawn everywhere and those were not there before uh, so it's the new threat inside Numbra okay oh this is completely different yeah so uh, now we reached uh, the third level of the first chapter uh, and uh, it happens on the highest mountain of the, the land so in there the sunlight can Push through. through, yeah, just a little bit, um, and actually each uh, each different. Um, all right, so I need to concentrate for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so for uh, every chapter of the game, uh, we are changing the uh, the color palette uh, of the game. So as it progress, uh, it feels different. So every every couple, every chapter is is different. Cool, I. I, I like the minimalistic, uh, colorful silhouette design. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so here, uh, as you can see, I can place the block and take oh, control really of the cool. boat. So I control the boat and the character right now. So uh, will there be different level? Will different levels have different sort of? Yes, exactly. So that's that's how we make sure that that the game just keeps progressing and that it doesn't feel like the same thing going on again and again. Um, as you don't unlock many things, right? Mm -hmm. um, you have, that's how we make the game feel refreshing every time you play it. And I take it you don't want to get hit by those? No, no, those are nasty. <laughs> can, you, can you deal damage to them or is it, are they just more of an obstacle? Yeah, so uh, every enemy you can actually interact with them in, in different ways. So you can either uh, hit them and they are gone, uh, or you can like daze them. Um, so here we have uh, this laser, right? So you know you can't go there because it will hurt you. So what you have to do actually is you have to go up there and you bring the boat on the other side like that. Oh, uh, okay. And, and now you, you, get, you get across through here. And now I can keep going. So I have a, ch a choice here. I can go with the boat uh, as expected, but if I feel like it, I can just skip and try to go without the boat. Jeez. And, and you cannot actually do the entire level without the boat. So Really? Yeah. Um, so here we, we hide uh, oh, one, cool. one of those. Oops. So um, how difficult is it? Because I could imagine this getting pretty difficult near the end uh, yeah yeah it certainly does but at the same time uh, in this game it just feels so good to go fast uh, you yeah. just want to go fast all the time and that's when you will die most of the time um, yeah it seems like if you 
if you take it slow, it wouldn't be as difficult, but it's it, yeah. the, the, re the rewarding part is Whoops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> trying so to move quickly through these levels. Yeah, um, so it really fits uh, different players' uh, play style. Um, so if you feel like going really fast, you can, uh, and it will feel really good. But if you are having a, a, tough, uh, a tough part of the level that you're not able to get through, you can just take your time and you will make it. Um, yeah, it's just about patience sometimes. That's really cool. So someone could have taken the boat all through that if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah, you can just skip it, all of it, but it's much more uh, challenging. But that's what speedrunners uh, will be doing. They will be skipping the boat and just go through. All right. This looks ominous. <laughs> yeah, so that's the entrance to the boss uh, okay. of the first chapter. So, Do we see the boss or does it end? I right know, we, we see it, but we don't get to fight it. Okay. All right, so he's right there behind in chains. That's really cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, that was Lightfall. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, so if you're interested into Lightfall, you can go into to lightfallgame.com uh, where you can find more information about the game. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, thank you. All right. Thank you, Jake.